Hello my friends, well guys, welcome to the best CC8 bases. Those two bases managed to get 850 plus defense rating, that's insane. But before we get into that, if my videos ever helped you or if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and turn the notification on. And I want to say thank you very much if you're doing that in advance. Well guys, first base, what we're going to do in this video, we are going to go through this CC8 base, I'm going to attack it, I'm going to point out the best things that this base has. It has to be special to have all that rating, it is extremely hard to get 900 rating on a CC8 base, not even many CC10 bases get that, not even my base. So let's see what's insane about this base. First of all, I want to point out is well spread and it's absolutely lovely to have it's all this wide space and look at those two snipers, they're just two snipers, look how strong they are, they get rid of my riots in seconds, it's, it's insane and the chemist helps a lot, obviously uh, my riot is going to be weak and all of that. But I have the advantage against this base. I have bombing run, I have everything. But just look how good two snipers are. I can only assume they are fully skilled because their range is extremely, extremely, extremely long there and they can easily shoot from very far away. Now, we're going to spawn all the big guns and because I had the bombing run, I could get rid of that... Uh, that sandbag so his uh, his veterans are coming up what I want to point is that in the corner there it's one of the best things that you can do placing one right in that corner it gives enough time for the snipers to get rid of half of the squad so one thing there brilliant 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 that's why this base is great because of that placement there if the base managed to spawn more snipers um, you are going to actually be in big trouble now I get a lot of specials here my riots are fully upgraded as well well not fully upgraded but fully leveled up and I have the advantage as I said from the beginning but a CC8 bay a CC8 player will struggle against this a lot so quickly get rid of that and I will show you another two things do you see those two tank traps there perfectly placed because by the time you get rid of those two the base will have enough time to spawn more snipers in our case i destroyed the um, the tents i destroyed everything imagine this base cc9 with all the advantages uh extra tent and all of those insane base i absolutely love it and i think taking this base and move it to a next level this base would work easily in cc7 as well will work easily anywhere brilliant 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 i absolutely love it as you can see i even lost some of my veterans we're going to move to the next base now it is crazy to kind of struggle on a cc8 base but hey some people are very 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 smart next base Plain simple as you can see there, nothing, nothing extraordinary, yeah, well, I'm going to show you the tricks of this base, because this one it's actually my favorite. Obviously, mercenaries and all of that, the first trick here is that mortar, because you're going to try to catch the other things there, and boom, surprise, surprise, I miss it, you're going to try to catch the trap that is there. It is so smart. Um, it's instinct to try to destroy two things with your missile. Um, I don't know. It's crazy. But yeah. Again, as I said in the first on the first base, I have the advantage. I have bombing run. I have everything. I have my units are leveled up, level 18. Those ones will be only level 16. So. Here we go, a little bit of a struggle as well, you can see all the mercenaries coming, riots are good enough, uh, they hold some bullets there, all the mercenaries are coming closer and closer, I'm going to leave that mortar shoot for a second, I'm not going to 
to do anything because I want to focus on the next step and I'm going to show you um, first of all again loads of units it kind of holds me back there is another mortar that's going to shoot I'm going to use my bombing run to get rid of that but look guys the same principle you have it behind the rock that sandbag or you can use a tank trap or whatever and as you can see now it just holds all my units by the time I get rid of uh, those in the corner all the other mercenaries can constantly constantly shoot I was lucky enough to have a tear gas I highly recommend if you are using that save one tear gas for that point because you're going to lose quite a lot of units in that and on a mercenary base it's a lot now the next part is the most amazing part this is a five point base where five things are going to constantly shoot at you when you go in the corner by this time you can see you have the mortar you have everything shooting at you at the same time just highlight it there on the screen for you it's insane <laughs> i'm going to lose quite a few units there and just to show you uh, a focus fire obviously would be needed I was lucky enough to destroy the, the sandbags of the veterans before but if you didn't or if you struggled on the way here you are not going to have specials you are not going to have anything there is five things constantly shooting that rock usage it's insane all the best bases in this game have the same principle using the rocks as a protective shield and this base does it to perfection so it's because I knew how it is I managed to kind of get my way around it as I said I have the advantage but if I was CC8 and let's say I didn't expect that or I didn't spot it before it would have been quite a struggle lovely base again I think it's uh, it's insane those two bases two best bases so far uh, in CC8 well guys I hope I helped you a little bit with this in your base building adventures and all of that but that's everything for this video if you did like it please leave a like if you did enjoy it subscribe and turn the notification on and guys share it with, you, with your friends if you can it does help and I do really appreciate it and as always thanks for watching and I will see you next video